Today I'm going to show you how to color grade iPhone footage and if you really want to color grade iPhone footage I recommend to shoot in HDR so if you got an iPhone 12 or even newer you can go to your settings and activate the HDR video function. When you activate that feature you're shooting in 10 bit so you have to convert it later but 10 bit is way better for color grading so I highly recommend to turn on that feature. So first we're going to start with the 10 bit footage and later we've got some 8 bit footage so in case if you don't have an iPhone 12 or newer. Okay, so first we make parallel node, another new node, and yeah, about six nodes. And now we choose the color space transform, put it on the sixth node, so it's on the last node. For input color space, we choose Rec 2020. Input gamma is Rec 21 HLG. And output color space, of course, Rec 709. Output gammas. Rec 7092 and as you can see it's way too bright so we're going to adjust that in this node here but first I should name it so we're gonna call this one exposure adjustment CST color space transform balance and hue versus and look okay so we start with the exposure adjustment. So we go into our curse and we pull down the highlights. That looks way better than before. So we go into the hue versus node, choose all the colors here, and we pull up our blue. So we have a teal sky and pull down the teals a bit so it's not too much on the teal side. And now if you want to have greens that are even more green, you can pull down the yellow so you can see we've got even more greens. But I want to have a warm look so I pull them up and pull the greens down a little bit for contrast. You have to be careful with the skin. So I make a point here so that we don't adjust the skin accidentally. We go into the look node and now we pull down the lift to the teal side and gamma up to the warm side we could we can pull down the lift even more gamma up now we go into the log wheels and go in the opposite way of the lift wheel of the shadow wheel so that we balance out the shadows Okay, that's what it looks like. So that's the before, that's the after. This is after our color space transform. That's a grade. That's just a converted image with the exposure fix. And this is our grade. Now we can copy our nodes and, and paste them on all the other ones. Of course, you can make some adjustments like you can, you can increase the contrast or even Go into the exposure adjustment node and pull down your shadows so that you have more contrast. Because you shot in 10, but you can go to the qualifier tab and can even use that because it's not falling apart that fast. As when you're shooting in 8-bit, it's gonna fall apart instantly. So you've got a big advantage if you shoot in 10-bit instead of 8-bit. So next we're going to grade 8-bit footage. Obviously we can't do as much as with 10-bit with that footage. But I'm going to make three nodes. The first one is balance. Second is hue versus. So we can use our hue curve. And the third one is curves. So we go into the hue versus hue tab. So I made some points in the hue versus hue curves. And we pull up the blues. So on my shoe you can see it's getting teal instead of blue. Not too much. Now you go into the yellow color and pull it up again. P make a point here and pull it down so we don't adjust our skins accidentally again. And we move our green point over a bit and pull it down so that we still have some green color in the video. And now you can go to hue with saturation, make 
all the points again. And if you want to, you can increase the blue saturation. And you can, of course, increase the warm areas. But not too much. So even that did a little bit of a teal and orange look. And now we give the footage the DNA it needs. So we go into the curves node, uncheck this thing here, choose the red color and make a point here and pull on our red. And we are gonna pull up the red somewhere on the top here and make a point here so that we don't adjust too much. Now we check the green color and pull it up to a little bit. Make a point here so we don't adjust the shadows. Of <clears throat> we make a little bit of an S curve. Not too strong. Let's see before, let's see after. Pretty gentle, but you have to be careful with 8 bit footage especially when it's from a phone. We copy this node and paste it here. And now you can really see the teal coming through. Of course, you can pull the colors back a little bit so that you don't have too much teal. So that's before and that's after. So that's how you grade iPhone footage. In general, if you want to grade iPhone footage, you just have to be very careful don't use any qualifiers because the image is going to fall apart very fast. And if you want to learn how to edit videos for YouTube, you can click on this video right now and we're going to see us on the next video.